Hello Capricorn, this is Debs and this is going to be your reading for April 21. Cabby, you just come out of um, a very deep meditation and um, beautiful energy for you. Don't know what is going on here. But I saw two people passing each other in the street. They both turned around at different times to look at each other. And then they met up again. It was totally unexpected. You know, we could be looking at a city of you know, thousands of inhabitants and two people keep... No, Michael said just twice. Two people saw each other twice in the same place at the same time. And it was rather strange. It was serendipitous. It was something that happened that you were totally not expecting. But there was a conversation that happened. Now, if this hasn't happened yet, Capricorn, it's going to happen. You're going to look back at this and realise that it was meant to be. It meant it, it was just someone that was supposed to come into your life at that period of time. It could have been something that you thought to yourself or you will be thinking to yourself. It's not important. It was just fluke. It was just coincidence. But later on, Michael's telling me you're going to look back and realise it was all meant to happen that way. It was all meant to happen that way. A unique chain of events have brought the two of you together for some reason. Are you ready? Let's move in. Here we go. Calling on the divine, the higher angels and ascended masters from the pure white light. Please guide me in this reading for April 2021. This is for my Capricorns. This is for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ooh, card flew out. What was that? Three of Wands, waiting for your ships to come in. This could pertain to be two people in different areas. You could have met, you know, last summer. For some of you, it's already happened. For some of you, it's going to happen. I feel that someone's waiting for a message from someone. Could be now these two people are in different areas. It could be that you're on a journey, Capricorn, or you're planning a journey and you're going to meet this person when you undertake that journey. It's just, it's going to be so strange. You're going to think to yourself, that was weird. That was just very strange. Yeah. It is going to be unexpected or it was unexpected. Let's just see what comes through. Very interesting story. All right, we come out with the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Why do I feel this has already happened? I feel I'm connecting to a male Capricorn. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Capricorn, I'm feeling this has already happened, but I'm feeling that there was something that tore the two of you apart. Maybe that was what was unexpected. Oh my goodness. Capricorn. Okay, this is a comeback around. This is a situation that was very unusual where two people met. I feel there was a spark. There was a big difference between the two of you. I'm actually hearing of ages. There could have been a very big age difference. But I think the divine is bringing the two of you back together again because you two were meant to meet for a reason. You're understanding that Capricorn at a very deep soul level this is someone that you can't forget this is something that's already happened yeah you're moving in to have that conversation i think you've been looking back at how this happened and realizing it didn't happen by chance there was something about this where you feel that this person may even be a mentor someone that you will need to learn from or someone who is trying to steer you onto a new path, maybe emotionally, psychologically, maybe you were caught up 
in a different lifestyle, a different place, and you realize that things needed to change. You were looking for change and suddenly this person may have come out of nowhere. And I think there was a very strong, immediate connection. And it threw you, it threw you. Underneath the deck, Queen of Pentacles, someone very grounded, someone very stable. This is someone who is financially um, independent. This could simply be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn like yourself. Yes, Nine of Pentacles, this person is sitting in pre-Empress energy. Very powerful, very stable, very calm, nurturing, loving, giving. Yeah. Page of Cups. This is the person, Capricorn, that is going to change your life in terms of maybe even the way you think, what you want to do with your life, where you live, what you're planning on doing. I think you'll come into the realisation of that. It is something that you're a bit uncomfortable with. But Michael is telling me just to say, go with the flow. Just go with the flow. See where it takes you. Hmm. Okay, people. Right, I'm moving the camera of action. All right. So we start off with the Empress. Now, this is someone very powerful. This is somebody very wise. This is someone who has been through a lot of pain, a heartbreak. She's learned lessons. She has grown within herself. She's matured. This is someone who has her feet on the ground. This is someone who really knows who she is. She's got to that stage of life. I feel, Capricorn, this is the person that you're thinking about. With the Ace of Wands covering that, there is a very strong passion between the two of you. A lot of chemistry. It could have shocked you when you met this person. Now, for instance, this could be a situation where, you know, there is an age difference. And maybe, you know, you're last girlfriend was in her 20s and this woman may be 30s or early 40s and you didn't expect to feel this chemistry with them but you've kind of understood that the two of you needed to meet you were destined to meet i think this happened incredibly quickly i think this person initially was a little bit wary a little bit nervous but i think that after a conversation things just worked out now, remember, if this hasn't happened yet, it's about to happen. The spark is lit. And this is someone that you have a lot of respect for. In the past, with judgment in the reverse, you were considering going back to an ex. I don't think it happened. I think you thought, no, I don't want to go back to the past. I want to look ahead. I want to look to the future. You could even have taken a trip somewhere, Capricorn, and surprisingly met this person. And it kind of solidified in your mind that you didn't want to go back to an ex-partner. You embraced this energy, this person. And after... A time when you two met, I think you met in the recent past, you were very conflicted. You didn't know whether or not this was something you'd want. Could I even consider this as a relationship? A lot of inner conflict. There could have been various issues that would stand in the way or did stand in the way of the two of you coming together. It could be completely different religions, different cultures. You could have lived a long way away. You could have been visiting the area and met this person. Again, it could be age. We have an empress here. We have a page. What you're thinking about with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is that either this person is very stable, very grounded, got her own money together, I mean, the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, that's someone earning a lot of money. Now, with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, you may feel you've got nothing to give to this woman. 
You know, it could be that you're on the starting block of a career and you feel, you know, oh, I just don't have the money. I, I can't wine and dine this woman. I can't afford to take her out. It's just embarrassing. I can't do this. Or you're undecided. You're undecided, Capricorn. Do I really want this? But there's this undeniable spark between the two of you. And this is someone that you know would be very supportive, very nurturing. This is someone who would look after you, would cherish the connection. You're thinking about all of this. Whatever happened here, Capricorn, there was a disconnect. The fire was lit and then something happened to pull you two apart. I feel that you're going to be reconnecting with this person just to gauge the energy that they're sitting in. Are they maybe surprised to hear from you? Are they, I'm hearing, going to give you a hard, a hard time because maybe you haven't been in touch. You could have had to have get on a plane and, and leave somewhere. Maybe this was just a short trip. But there was this incredible connection, a lot of passion. And you've been thinking about this. So we have the Seven of Pentacles. When is that coming in, please? Third of April, soon, wow. Third of April to the 14th, okay. I'm hearing the words, I'm on my way. Seven of Pentacles, you're looking at the past Maybe at past relationships, you could be looking at your own financial security, stability. You could have managed to build up a foundation. So maybe when you met this person, you could have been in a difficult place in your life. You could have ended a connection. You could be juggling finances. You could be in between careers. Whatever this was, there might have been some kind of embarrassment that you weren't on the same level as this person and if this is a male Capricorn I'm connecting with, and you're connecting with maybe a woman, maybe an older woman, it may have thrown you off a little bit because Capricorns like to be in control. They're very finance orientated. And maybe you felt, I just don't have a strong enough foundation to even develop this with this person. And other issues maybe as well. But you're looking at the past, you're looking at when you met, you're looking at your own financial security. You may have, between meeting this person and maybe having to leave, you may have tried to get yourself financially stable. I do feel there was a rather difficult parting. It could be that you said, look, I'm sorry, but I've got a plane ticket. I've got to go back to where I came from, or I've got to sort out issues in another area, or I'm in between jobs. There was something that disconnected the two of you. I do feel for some of you, or maybe one of you, this has already happened. I feel this Empress is sat in a lot of pain and a lot of confusion because she is sat in the Ten of Swords. Wow, this feels so similar to, um, I think it was the Gemini reading. Maybe something in that for someone. But the Ten of Swords is her facing a painful ending. So it could be that she felt this was a transient affair or this was just a romance that was very quick and it just dissolved very quickly. She may feel as if she'll never see you again. I think you're on your way back in. But be aware, Capricorn, that if you do move back towards this woman, she's already come to terms with the fact that she has had to move on from you. So there may not have been communication for two or three months, maybe. What I don't think you wanted to admit is that it wasn't anything personal. It wasn't maybe the fact that she was older or the fact that you were in a different country or different area. It was because of some kind of financial issue that you had to sort out. Yeah. She might have assumed that you just came in, had fun and then left. So she sat in a lot of pain. She may not express it. This is an empress. This is someone who's very graceful. She won't admit to that. She will hold her head high. She will move forward. She will cover 
any heartbreak, but she is heartbroken. So if you do move back towards her, just be aware that I don't think there's any anger here, but there may be a very deep wound that you may have to patch up in explaining your absence. It could be also that you were literally at crossroads in your life in general. Maybe you were thinking of relocating and you might have needed to take some time to really think about what you wanted in your life, where you wanted to live, what career you wanted to build. But I feel that you've made your mind up now and you're moving towards her, but she's she feels as if it's totally over, it's done, it's finished. What you're fearing is actually making that move back to her, two of wands. Because I think you stood at crossroads for a time. Now, for some of you, you were thinking about, should I get back with my ex? Should I find new love? And I think this meeting happened very unexpectedly. And it kind of threw you off a little bit because you, you just couldn't imagine that that was going to happen. But I think it did change your mindset. It, it, Michael's telling me it added another chapter to a book that has yet got to be written. Okay. You're fearing making this move. For some of you, you're fearing actually traveling back to maybe reconnect to see just how you feel. But this may be a slightly awkward reconnection because she's hurt. She's hurt. She could pass it off with a little bit of a flippant comment. I don't think this is someone sitting in any angry, spiteful energy, but she may say something like, you know, hello, stranger, it's been six months and never thought I'd hear from you again. You know, um, but of course, the the behind that flippant comment is kind of you really hurt me. You kind of just disconnected. I didn't know what was going on. And that's what you're fearing. You're fearing that by the time you are able, I'm hearing to revisit this connection, you're fearing it's gone. Fearing that she's so heartbroken, ten of swords and three of swords, that you'll never get this back up and running again. You're also hoping that she's not going to break your heart by stating, well, you left me, so I kind of had to heal from this and I've moved on and met someone else. The outcome is rather beautiful, Capricorn, because we have two people who understand that even though this may be a rather strange connection, this person may not be your usual type. You may not be this person's usual type. You are actually building something beautiful. Now, who knows? This could be a deep friendship with the basis of passion and romance. This could be you two deciding to go into business together. Whatever this is, you don't want to lose touch with this person. You don't want to lose that connection. I feel you're rebuilding a foundation to see where it's going to go with no preconceived ideas, no guarantees. You're just going to go with the flow. And I think that's the best course of action. So here we have what may be part of the conversation that you're going to be having with this woman, Wheel of Fortune. This is you feeling that the divine has literally dropped this person into your life unexpectedly. It was destined. It was meant to happen. And you are coming to the understanding of that. With the Six of Pentacles, this is um, a connection that you're now realizing you want to put effort into. Maybe you had to balance your finances first before doing this. But this is someone that you feel will be fair will be very supportive of you. This is someone who is going to understand that maybe you had to give money to others. You had to sort out balancing your foundation. With the Eight of Cups in the reverse, you physically left the area where you met this person, I believe, but you never totally disconnected emotionally. You couldn't get this person off your mind because I think you realized that this person came into your life for a reason. And with the Knight of Swords, 
you're deciding to communicate. This could be a series of conversations based around either the fact that you feel this connection, you don't know why it's unusual for you, you know there are various differences between the two of you, but you want to see where it goes. It could be simply you saying, look, I plan to come back to you, but I couldn't for a period of time because I had to sort out a money issue. But this is looking very good, Capricorn. With the Page of Cups, you could be wanting to apologise to this woman who I believe is sat in the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles energy, doing very well. Let's find out. Let's find out. Michael, what is the Empress energy crossed with the Ace of Wands? You felt this deep passion with this woman. You felt this very strong connection. And I think there was romance. I think there was also an understanding that However the two of you met, it was kind of meant to be. I think you tried to block this for a while because maybe it was long distance, maybe you were different cultures, maybe this person was older than you. But I think now you're realising, I don't want to block this. I don't want to block this. This was meant to happen. For some reason, I miss this person. For some reason, I want to be back in their energy. Um... I think you're feeling very nostalgic, Capricorn. So this is what you're thinking of, Knight of Cups. You could have water in your chart, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person could be a water sign. But I feel that you're thinking about the romance, the connection, the bond that was developing between the two of you. I think you tried to block these feelings. I I think you tried to push this away. It just wasn't right. It was just too strange. It was, there were so many things that weren't right about this connection. Maybe facing others' disapproval as well. Maybe family members. But you couldn't block it. You realised, I, I want this. Yeah, you've been feeling very down without this person. Very sad, very by yourself. You've also gone through maybe a spiritual awakening. This is really deep reflection on your past, your past relationships, patterns of behaviour, thinking about what you want for the future, all of it, all of it. This person could be a Virgo, if not you could have Virgo in your chart. But this is deep reflection. Yes, because with the Six of Cups in reverse, you are missing this person. That is a very deep nostalgic energy of the way that this person was with you, the way you were with this person how you felt. You could immediately have felt like you've known this person for 10 years. It could have just taken three days and it shocked you. And there's a lot of nostalgia. You want to go back to this person. Ooh, that wants to come out. Yeah, four of cups in the reverse. This is a divine connection. You may be realizing that now. You didn't want to look at it before. You are very much wanting to look at it now. You're thinking back at the times you spent together. What is the Four of Cups in reverse? I should say, Michael, what is the Seven of Pentacles? This is you reviewing the past. I think, Happy, you want to take action. I think you want to try and heal the situation. There's a very strong energy between the two of you. You're thinking about this person. And for you, it's not over. It's not over. Yes. So we have the Four of Cups deciding that you want to just see where this goes. You don't know, but you feel, I don't want to just let this person go. King of Wands. So you could have a lot of fire in your chart, Capricorn. Aries Leo Sag. You want to take action in accepting this because you're realizing you miss this person star aquarius energy you feel this is your dream come true you don't want to turn your back on this person you want to heal this wow king and queen of wands look at that true pair 
This is somebody who's very go-getting, very dynamic, very strong, very capable, and you're coming through with the King of Wands energy. You're realizing you're actually, strangely, even given the huge differences between the two of you, a perfect match. Perfect match. Strength. Maybe a Leo. This is someone very strong, very proud. This is somebody who carries herself with grace and dignity. This is somebody who copes with a lot. This is somebody people look up to. But you are going to need the courage, Capricorn, to move back towards this person because you may be coming to the realisation that she's in pain. And I think it's because you had to disconnect from her very quickly. World in reverse. Now, maybe this is you saying, look, I can't travel to see you right now, but this is not a cycle that's over. I want this. I want to build on this with the Ace of Pentacles. You could be saying to this person, look, I'm just getting my money together and then I'm going to be with you. Wow. All right. Archangel Michael, what is the Ten of Swords? What is the Ten of Swords? I think she's kind of still recovering from realizing that you left. I think she gave up on this. I think she realized that maybe with no communication, she would have to let this go. I think she might have thought that you were maybe with somebody else and you met her and you had a quick fling. Yeah. I think she turned her back on this, thinking that you just lied. going to have to be very open and honest with her because I'm feeling a lot of stress. She may not show it. I feel this is someone who's kind of let you go, but I think she still thinks about you. Yeah, my goodness, the tower in reverse. This was a shock, Capricorn. I think she began to have feelings for you and you kind of just left. It might have been for a very good reason, but I think she felt very hurt. Very hurt. Yeah, she struggled with this. She knew this was a very alternative, would I say, connection. But she had to let this go because there were no messages from you. And so she didn't message you either. Now, it could be Capricorn because you didn't know how you were feeling. You didn't know what you wanted to do. You thought, well, I don't know what to contact her now because I don't know what to say. Am I coming back? I don't know. Do I want this to work? I don't know. I think you needed to take some time. And I think she was just mortified that communication was just cut off. She could have felt insecure. Maybe she was older. Maybe she thought, you know, you'd run off with a 21 year old. I don't know. Maybe she felt your family disapproved somehow. Maybe she felt, okay, it was the distance. It happened. We were together in the same place. Now this person had to go back. But she's upset. Two of Pentacles in reverse. You could have explained that you'd had issues financially. But she might have felt that you were just on a bit of a trip. You met her. You kind of fell into some kind of connection. And you were juggling her with someone that maybe you lived closer to. Maybe she felt this was just an option for you. She was just an option. Yeah, she felt that this was a fling. She felt that you were connected to somebody else and she didn't want to be involved in anything sneaky or underhand or any deception. She felt that you might have lied to her. She felt you might even have been in a long-term commitment, Cappy, and didn't tell you the truth. So she had to let this go. It was painful. Two tens. She's let this go. But there's a little part of her who is hanging on to the hope that all of this is wrong, that she got the wrong end of the stick and you are coming back to express what really happened, what your real situation was. She's still hanging on to the hope of that. And I think you're moving in, realising that you have a bit of explaining to do. Again, I'm not feeling a sense of anger. But she may be a little bit cold and a little bit, I'm getting the word flippant. Oh, hello, you're back. Okay. What kind of happened? Mm-hmm. 
She may make a joke, you know, oh, did you lose your mobile phone? You couldn't contact me for a few months. It's going to be a little bit like that. You're going to feel slightly uncomfortable, but I think you, you will know why. And I think you're going to be having to do a little bit of backpedaling, but you're going to be needing to put all your cards on the table, Capricorn, because she's going to want to know, you know, even if it's a bit mortifying to say it, even if you, you know, you come out with, well, actually, I didn't know if I wanted this. I didn't know if I wanted to have a long distance relationship. I didn't know if you're thinking of relocating to the area she's in. I didn't know if I wanted to relocate. I didn't know if I could afford it. I was still hurting from my ex. I mean, you have to be very honest because she's in pain because she doesn't really know. What is the three of pentacles? I think this is the two of you communicating, maybe after a period of non-communication. Um, I think you're going to be building something very secure with this person. To be honest, it could even be a friendship. I'm not going to lie. But I don't feel that you want to let this person go. I think you're just going to see what happens. Okay, well, if it turns into a relationship, great. If it doesn't, okay. I think you're going to see where it leads. But I do feel that there are emotions there. And I do feel that eventually when the awkwardness has passed and maybe she understands what happened, you will develop this connection. I think it's going to be rather nice. Yeah. So we have Pisces energy with a high priestess in the reverse. Now this is coming out of fantasy land. This is, I really want to build on this. This is also conversations. Let's see if we can make this actually happen. This is opening up. We have your lovely card of Capricorn. There's a lot of desire for this person. There's a lot of chemistry. But you're going to start small Capricorn, page of pentacles. It's kind of, let's just see what happens. Queen of Cups. This is someone very loving, very warm, very giving. And this is someone who's excited to be in your company. You could just have some really great memories. Making memories together. Six of Wands. You're going to be feeling pretty victorious because this is someone who's going to accept that offer of a relationship. This could be quite romantic. And there's going to be a lot of messages of passion. Now, you could even be, if you're looking at finding a job in another area, you could even find a job in the area that she is in, be successful in that. And therefore, this is something that could build quite unexpectedly. You could say, look, I've got a job in your area. I'm on my way. There's no problem with distance now. We can see where this takes us. Because I think you're curious. You've never felt this way before. I don't think, Capricorn, you just fell in love. I've got to be honest, but I think the chemistry was there. The soul deep past life connection was there. And I think you have a lot of respect for whoever this is. And I think in time, this is going to develop. It's going to be beautiful. So people, before we run out of time, let's dip into White Rose Guidance. Divine Love Messages, Volume 2. Capricorn, what do you want to say to this woman? Okay. Oh my goodness, past life, yeah. I didn't fall in love with you because I've always loved you and always will. So maybe you did fall in love. Yeah, but the problem is, are you ready for commitment? I'm not ready for commitment with anyone. Now that might have been the issue. You might have thought, God, I've met my person, but I'm not ready to commit. The kindness in your heart is so beautiful. You understand this is a very kind person, a very generous person. And you feel they understand you. You're the only one who understands me at such a deep level. Yeah, you've got a very strong connection. Yeah, and I think you've realised, look at that, under the deck. You know who this person is to you. This is someone very special. You don't want to lose this person. I know who you are to me. 
So people, I'm leaving it there. There will be messages of passion. It is going to develop. It's going to take time. And I feel that this is you just needing Capricorn to not look at things on a very serious basis. OK, if that helps you, don't think, oh, my goodness, this is, you know, I'm going to be forced down to walk down the aisle. No, I don't think this woman is sat in that energy. I don't. I think of anything, she's career driven. I think this is something that's going to develop in time. And you two are just going to talk, get to know each other and see where it leads you. So, guys, sending love and light your way. Many blessings. And I'll be back with you before you know it. Bye now.